A smart man learns from his mistakes, but a wise one learns from the mistakes of others. Today, we bring back the crash course to tell you about the most common mistakes players make while driving Japanese tanks. What's so special about these vehicles? Well, first of all, they were designed to be used in an area where the enemy wasn't supposed to have heavy machines. That's why the Japanese armor isn't particularly well protected. And Japanese guns won't set records as well. That means that the whole tactical situation is quite different from what we see with other nations. Therefore, these are the reasons why you lose on Japanese tanks. Mistake number one. You use them on the front line. Most of these vehicles have weak armor, huge reload rate, and their guns don't penetrate much. So a direct approach will only leave you dead. Be smarter. Mistake number two. You're getting too active in urban environments. It doesn't mean that urban maps aren't for you. It means don't be the first one to ride through the streets. Most of the turrets on Japanese tanks have a rather slow traverse speed. There's a very good chance you won't be able to react quickly in case of immediate danger. Mistake number three you ignore the landscape. One of the advantages of Japanese tanks is that their guns gave great elevation angles. They shine when you're able to lay down fire from behind hills, trenches and other fortifications. Be sneaky. Shooting your enemy from behind a cover does not only diminish your chance of getting caught in the sights, it's possible your prey won't even understand where the shot's coming from. And if you add some decorators on top, you'll be unstoppable. And invisible. And unstoppable. Japanese tanks aren't easy. But if you want to experience something new, or you like high stakes, high risk gameplay, there'll be a lot of fun. And don't forget to learn from your mistakes.